Hey there, I'm John from MySolarHome.us, a solar professional doing solar panels and energy storage for the last 10 plus years. This latest video is about the best solar panels available as of June 2022. This is an updated version of an earlier video because there have been some changes in the market. One of the top solar manufacturers, LG Solar Panels, has decided to exit the market. Panasonic is another manufacturer who seems to be on the way out. They have stopped manufacturing their own panels. They have now outsourced the manufacturing to another panel manufacturer called REC. REC makes super good panels and now they're actually manufacturing panels for Panasonic. So I am thinking Panasonic is likely also to exit this market very shortly. As a result, I've updated this video and I have removed the LG and the Panasonic panels because I really wouldn't buy those panels right now because in five or six years, you just won't have any support for them regardless of what they tell you. So the top five panels in no particular order that I'm going to review for this video are the Solaria XT 400 watt panel, the REC Alpha Black 400 watt panel, the Silfab Elite 380 watt panel, QCell QP2 400 watt black on black panel, and the Aptos 370 watt black on black panel. I've selected these five solar panels based on five criteria, size, efficiency, temperature coefficient, their warranty, prices, and where they were made at. Let's get started. As I mentioned, I have not included the LG and the Panasonic panels because I'm not certain they're going to be available in the market for too long. Another panel which I have disregarded in this review is the Sun Power panel. I have a very difficult time recommending that panel. They're a very good panel, but they charge way too much. If you're looking for a solar quote, do email me at john at mysolarhome.us. I'll be able to get a solar quote for you using the the best available equipment at very good value prices. Many a time I get questions about solar panels which are 450 watt or 500 watt solar panels and why I'm not including them in this review. The larger 450, 500 watt solar panels are actually much larger in size. These five panels which I'm talking about for this review, they're more or less in the same size category. They have either 60 cells or 120 cells in them, whereas those larger 450 to 500 watt panels, they even go up more than that. They are larger panels. They have more cells in them. They are bigger in size, but they are actually less efficient and not as good as these panels. They use mostly in commercial installs. Getting started with the size, starting from one being the smallest to five being the largest is the REC Alpha is the number one. They're the smallest. You will notice that the physical size of the panel, 60, the, of the Aptos panel, 69 inches into 41 inches is actually smaller than the physical size of the REC panel, which is 72 inches into 40. The size per watt of the REC Alpha panel is smaller than the size per watt of the Aptos panel. You will actually occupy less room on your roof with the number one panel, the number one smallest panel, which is the REC Alpha 400 watts. Number two is the QCell 400 watt black on black panel. Number three is the Silfab Elite 380 watt panel. Number four is the Solaria 400 watt XT panel. And number five is the Aptos 370 watt panel. All these panels are black on black, exceedingly good looking. Each of them are outstanding. These are like top class racing cars. You could buy any one of them. You'd be extremely happy with them. Next, we look at the efficiencies of these panels. And what do you mean by efficiency? It basically tells you how much of the sunlight that falls on these panels is actually converted into electrical energy. So surprisingly, very little. The most efficient panel, again, in my review is the REC 400 watt panel. The REC Alpha panel has an efficiency of 21.6%. That means 21.6% of the solar radiation falling on this panel gets converted into electrical energy. Number two is the Silfab 380 watt elite panel with an efficiency of 21.4%. Very little difference between the REC and the Silfab elite in terms of efficiencies. Number three is the QCell 400 watt QP duo panel with an efficiency of 20.4%. The Aptos is next with an efficiency of 20.3% the Aptos 370 watt panel. And finally, you have the Solaria XT 400 watt panel with an efficiency of 20.2%. So if you notice, the top five panels are all well over 20% in terms of efficiency. Now, if you're looking at other panels, a good criteria to use is anything over 19.5% efficiency. 
is a very very good panel you could go get them without blinking an eye without without having any second thoughts they'll be exceedingly good panels next we're going to be looking at the temperature coefficient this tells us how much power production do these panels lose as the temperature starts to go up you see the rec alpha again wins with the lowest coefficient minus 0.26 percent followed by the q peak duo at minus 0.34 percent the aptos at minus 0.36 percent followed by the sylfab at minus 0.38 percent and the solaria at minus 0.39 percent in terms of the temperature coefficient this is actually a little more important in hotter and warmer regions so if you're talking about california or florida this might be a factor for you but even then not so much because we are in the northern hemisphere it's not very very hot but the closer you get to the equator this takes this starts to make a difference because it gets very hot and the panel's energy production starts to go down let's look at the warranty now when i'm looking at warranty i am talking about the power production guarantee given by these panels after 25 years all these panels when they start out a 400 watt panel is supposed to produce 400 watts in perfect conditions the 380 watt panel is supposed to produce 380 watts in perfect conditions now how much would it produce in perfect conditions 25 years from today once it's been in the out, in, in the outdoors and it's been it's been used up so the rec has the best warranty all tier one panels including these five all have 25 year warranties anything goes wrong those panels will be replaced standard across the industry for the top notch panels and it's true for these five but what's a little distinct for these guys is they have a power guarantee after 25 years the rec which is the best in this range it has got a guarantee of giving you 92 percent of the energy it produces even after 25 years which is amazing the other four are equally amazing but their numbers are just a shade lower the qp offers you an 86 percent warranty the Solaria also has an 86% guarantee after 25 years and the Silfab and the uh, Aptos have an 85.1% guarantee. So when we look at all the five panels, I've actually rated them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as I've shown you here with number one being the REC Alpha, number two being the Silfab 380 watt elite panel, number three being the 400 watt Qcell um, panel number four being the aptos 370 watt black and black panel and number five being the solaria xd 400 watt panel in terms of efficiency the top two are the rec alpha with 21.6 percent and 21.4 percent for the silfab elite 380 watt panel the q cell is 20.4 the aptos 20.29 and the solaria 20.2 percent in terms of the temperature coefficient minus 0.26 percent for the rec alpha is the best that means it shows the least amount of degradation in energy production when the temperature goes up followed by the q cell 400 at point minus 0.34 percent the aptos with minus 0.36 percent the silfab at minus 0.38 percent and the solaria at minus 0.39 percent in terms of the warranty power guarantee after 25 years it is the best for the rec at 92 percent followed by for, followed by the solaria and the q cell at 86 percent the silfab and the aptos at 85.1 percent the rec panel is made in norway fab is made in the u.s the Q cell panels are now being made in the US as well. Originally, they were from Korea. The Aptos panels are US made, as well as the Solar panels, all made in Silicon Valley. In terms of prices, the good news is that almost all these panels are similar in prices. There's not a big difference in prices. This the RC Alpha might have a slight five to ten percent more than the others, but you, if you negotiate hard enough, you will get the RC Alpha at the same price as the other panels. So in terms of prices, none of them really enjoys an advantage. You see my video on solar panel pricing to find out how much you should actually be paying for panels. In terms of warranty, the REC Alpha enjoys a distinct edge over the others. It offers you a 30 year warranty uh, in addition to the 25 regular warranty. Plus it has a labor warranty. That means if the, if the solar company which installed your panels goes out of business, REC will actually pay some other company to give you service, so which is a phenomenal warranty. So the labor warranty from the REC Alpha for the 400 watt panel gives it another strong edge. So overall, that is why I think the REC Alpha 400 watt black on black panel is the best in the business in terms of both performance, warranty and temperature coefficient. Number two is the Silfab Elite. 
And number three is the QCell QP 400 watt panel. Number four is the Aptos 370 watt panel, followed by the Solaria. Now, all these five panels are winners. They are excellent, top notch panels. You won't go wrong if you buy any one of these. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. If you're looking for a solar coat, do email a recent electric bill to me at john at mysolarhome.us and I'll give you a very, very competitive panel, a very, very competitive quote with the best in panels and microinverters. Do like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye-bye.